if you are a man and your G-spot is in your battle, please shut up. Shut your mouth and move on with your life. Don't condemn people because they have decided to come out of the closet. While you, you are still doing it behind or inside the closet, no. Move on with your life. You don't accept them, you don't want them. That's your problem. Hello my blessed viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing great. For those who haven't subscribed, kindly do so. Most, I'm not talking about all of them, but I'm talking about in a majority perspective majority of men they condemn so much lgbtq community i'm not one of the lgbtq and i won't love it when one of my child is in that but i will learn to accept the choices my offspring or my friend have chosen i will not force them to choose otherwise i will not force them to be what i want i will support them even though i don't like it so let me ask this question why is it that most men who condemn lgbtq or most men they condemn so much lgbtq but their g-spot is in their bar hall you condemn lgbtq you uh, how do i say you crucify them in all shapes type designs and manners but whenever you are having an intercourse with your woman your g-spot is your butthole she has to insert something in your butthole for you to come why and yet you don't like it when you see someone doing it openly not doing it you feel like this person is doing such type of a thing so you distance yourself uh, from them you condemn them but your g-spot is your butthole that's number one number two there are these pastors pastors and also these people the same same people who condemn lgbtq in general it's okay to condemn what you don't like but crucifying someone because of their choices is bad but why you don't like lgbtq but whenever you are having an intercourse with your woman you want her you want to <clears throat> her in her butthole hapunani is not enough for you so you decide you want to use her butthole why why do you go to the battle why do you want to be pleasured with the battle than the punani and yet you condemn lgbtq please you have to be fair if you condemn something you don't like something do it privately and publicly if that's what you've decided but because it's not good for you to be doing the same same things behind the closed doors the same same things on other people but you don't like it when you see someone is doing it i'm not support uh, i'm not supporting um people who are uh, grooming other people to become lgbtq that one i'm against it if someone is grooming somebody's child or someone else to no, that one I don't like it. But if someone was born like that or has liked to become like that, I will not condemn that person. If it's someone who is close to me, I will try and support them. But I won't like it. I will not like it on my own flesh and blood. I won't like it, but if it's their choice, I will learn how to support them. And it's so sad to say that most of the LGBTQ, they were molested by male figures in their lives. Male figure who at the same time, they are condemning them because of the choices they have made in their sexuality. They are the same, same people who, when they were babies, they molested them or when they were still young. And that thing got into their blood and that's what they have chosen. Why are you men so selfish and hypocrites? Why? These LGBTQ, they don't sleep with women. They sleep with men. They are fellow men who claim to be straight. You are obsessed with them, but you don't want to come openly. Stop being hypocrites, men. You are so selfish. Not all, but majority of men. I'm saying majority because that's how most men are. A man will beat a woman because of cheating on him, but at the same time, the same same man will be, will be a serial cheater and he is expecting forgiveness from the same same woman. Men, you are hypocrites, big ones. I'm still wondering, you are a man, you call yourself a real man, but you allow your woman or you always want your woman to lick your butthole before you come like to eat it like the way she does bj is the same way you want her to do it on your battle and yet outside you condemn lgbtq who are you are you not a hypocrite are you not one of them it's just that you are being 
you are doing it uh, inside the closet and then they have decided to come outside the closet. Who are you? So stop it. You don't like something. Someone is doing something which you don't like it. And it's not harming you in any way. It's not harming them in any way. It's what they like. Mind your business and move on. If it's your child, mind your business and move on. You cannot change what someone has decided to do with their body. No, unless if they want to delete themselves from this earth. That's another thing. You can try and prevent that. But something which it gives them pleasure or it's something which they have chosen in their sexuality, please leave them. Let LGBTQ live their life the way they want and stop being hypocrites. I'm talking this, I'm basing this in men because most men, that's how they behave. Some even go as far as, as deleting these people from the surface of the earth because they don't like them they don't like their actions but they do the same same things with their wives or with other people some even they are they are real uh, homos they do it with other men but they hide it it's none of your business live your life you've chosen to be a pastor be a pastor preach the word of god they will not come and borrow your butthole to go and use it no it's their own they are living their own life live your own life too and women stop giving your men your battle it's no good you have a punani if that man is not getting enough satisfaction on your punani she has to do some go somewhere else that's why we have prostitutes on the streets that's why we have uh, whatever it is brothels because there they do everything and anything a man wants in exchange of money he married you because he respected you. But it's so sad to say that most men get married to women who they know they are weak. They will take all crap to them. Because most men, they are scared to marry women who can voice their opinions. Women who are easy to reject. Men, they don't marry such type of women. They go to marry women who are easy to manipulate, easy to mistreat, because they know very well that person maybe they, are, they were desperate for them they love them they they are so eager to be in that thing called marriage you know but someone like me I don't take bullshit if I was taking bullshit in my 20s no I'm not taking bullshit in my late 20s or in my 30s or in my 80s no if I see someone who is in their 20s doing such type of a thing they are there for their men they are do no I will understand a little bit but women who are in their 30s they are taking crap from their men you have a problem and you need to treat that problem look at uh, yourself and realize you have to realize what you want and realize who you are pick up your pieces you can live without being in a manipulative relationship or maltreated relationship with any man or anyone I learn to love yourself and another thing is for women please whenever you choose to get married make sure you get married for right reasons or whenever you decide you want to be with someone make sure you are with those person or with that person for right reasons because there are some women who they feel like they're so lonely the only way for them to be happy they want to get married no one can make you happy than the way you can make yourself happy if your happiness depends on someone else you need to be uh, to be with someone else to be happy then i think your happiness relies on a wrong place, on a wrong choice. You, you have to learn to be happy on your own so that when someone comes in your life, you teach them how to make you happy. I'm saying like that because I see women loving so hard. They love someone more than the way they love themselves. I was in that position and it has costed me so much. You understand? It's not good to love someone more than the way they love you. You have to make sure they love you more than the way you love them. When you, when you practice such type of a thing, you will live happy and it's easy for you to get over someone who has broken your heart, be it friendship or a romantic relationship, it will be easy for you because you are there, you loved yourself. But when you love someone more than the way you love yourself, it's hard to get over that person, very hard no matter what they do to you it's hard for you to get over it be it a negative way or whichever way it is especially people who are in a very violent relationship or they are in a relationship whereby they are being abused emotionally 
uh, physically, it's hard for them to get out because they love those people more than the way those people love them. They don't even love themselves anymore. Their focus is in that uh, relationship and how they have to perform to show love to this other person. It's no good. Spread the love, not hate. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye-bye.